So hello, today you join me on the banks of a local reservoir. We're going to be fishing the waggler for roach. You join us nice and early in the morning. We've had one or two fish and then we've just connected with a much better one. As you can see there, quality roach. And that is hopefully the quality that we're going to be getting today. Fishing hemp, corn, tares for quality roach. So as you can see in front of us, it's a big, massive expanse of water. And the first thing we need to do is attract them fish into our area. The roach in here go around in big shoals and we've got to attract them in. So we're going to be really positive, just feeding hemp. Start on maggot, because it catch anything that swims and get a couple of bites. But to begin with, we're going to be really positive with feeding that hemp. As you can see there, straight away we're into a fish. To begin with, I'm not really too bothered about the size of fish. It's all about just attracting them fish into the area. So it's a big reservoir and to get bites really quickly is great. But you've got to put bait in to attract them in. It's a really deep swim and we're just going off the shelf. So we're in that deeper water targeting the right area of the reservoir. But you've got to put that bait in to attract them in. So what I say about being positive, that is how much hemp we're putting in each cast. You can say it's a big reservoir and we've got to attract them shoals in. So we're going to be really positive. I've got with me today probably five or six pints of hemp. So there's plenty of bait to get through and be really positive with your feeding. The first thing you've got to do is attract the fish in. We're talking a bit about keeping them there, but we're being really positive with the feed. And there's about that much hemp going in the swim every cast. So just feeding that hemp, we started off on maggot, just to get what bites are in the swim. We've moved over to corn now, and we're getting them better quality roach every cast. It'll be a very nice net at the end. We've fed heavy with hemp to get the fish in the swim. And now they're here, we're just feeding every cast to keep them there. That's a lovely quality roach from a big reservoir. By getting your feeding right and targeting the right areas, you can catch some quality fish. That's a beautiful reservoir roach. So like with most fishing, the key is feeding. And we're keeping that bait going in, being nice and positive. The swim gradually goes out and then drops off the shelf into the deeper water. So we've got the option to go over the shelf or on top of it. And at the moment, we're just getting these fish just at the top of that shelf, over depth. Feeding really positively with that hemp. And it is literally a bite of chuck at the moment. But like I say, a good average stamp of fish. You get them every cast, you'll have a nice net at the end. So once you've got the fish in front of you, so I'm getting into a routine, so cast in, sink your line. Straight away, we're grabbing that catapult. A nice, positive pouch of that hemp. So we're on top of the shelf. There we go, straight away. And we're drawing that shoal now closer to us. The closer we get them to us, the quicker we can catch them. And we can put together a really nice net of fish. That piece of corn's good enough to go again. Like I say, just getting into that routine, cast in, sink your line, straight away, you know, the, straight away the first thought is feeding, over the top, 
and we're just waiting for that bite. There we go. See, there's a good shoal of these roach now come right into us. So initially we fed really positively with that hemp to get these fish near us. And now we're making the most of it by keeping them there. The most important thing is to keep feeding. You've got to keep putting the food in to keep them here or the shoal will literally just move off. Maybe not today, because we are the only ones on today, but when there's a few people on, fishing, you've got to keep feeding to keep them in front of you. That's another lovely roach, that. Let's get it straight back. So there we go, look at that for the quality reservoir roach. We're definitely getting into some of them better quality ones now. And that is what you come for. Let's say they do go over a pound to two pound, but you can just see here today, simple baiting, simple tactics. And we're getting some quality roach now on the waggler. So the baits that we brought with us on the reservoir today are really simple and each one of them has a purpose. Got plenty of hemp with us today and you'll notice on the video I'm just feeding hemp into the swim to begin with just to attract them fish in. So we've got plenty of hemp with us today. It's going to help attract the fish into the area but it's a great bait for attracting quality as well. Brought with me today some red maggots. I won't be feeding them into the swim because I feel like that's going to attract the smaller fish in. They are just really there for the hook bait and some days you can really struggle and on them days you do need the maggot but today we're getting plenty of quality so we're really just using them as a hook bait. As we begin to get more bites we're introducing more and more of the corn into the swim. Now this is going to help again attack that better quality fish that are in the swim and try and catch them over the smaller fish. Putting these high baits in, the heavy baits are going to get down to the bottom in that deep water and again help us target them fish in them lower layers. Another excellent bait for targeting the fish as well are tears. You see when you're feeding hemp all the time into the swim, if I put them both side by side, you can see there that tear on the hook again an excellent bait for targeting the bigger roach that are in the venue it's all about targeting them better quality fish the hemp to attract them and then the other bait to catch the better fish that are in the area so we've just talked about the different baits that we're going to be using on the venue today maggots corn and tears and a hook link that i use in all of my fishing whether i'm fishing the river or the still water are these maggot 12 inch four pound size 16 hooks to nylon. They let me use all them different hook baits on the same pattern of hook and I've used them a lot on the river for chub so there's plenty of backbone in the hook link as well but today on here it's going to let me use the same hook link for all the different baits that we're going to use. So the rod that we're using today is the 13 foot Amiga rod, the float rod. We've got it teamed up with a Axis 2 reel, 4,000 size. On there we've got four pound, four ounce finesse line from Cordham. And it's helping us today to catch some of these quality roach. Like I say in the venue, there are bigger fish in here like carp and tench. So it's gonna have the backbone for dealing with them. But when you wanna to put together a nice net of fish, getting them roaching nice and quick is what it's all about and it's the perfect rod for targeting this reservoir and them quality roach that live in it.
So there we go, as you can see, we've had a fantastic few hours fishing on the local reservoir. Hopefully them hints and tips will help you out in your fishing. And if you have enjoyed the video, please leave it a like below and subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you all on the next video. Tight lines.